This is round six of Blackstone Fortress. All right, the setup is that we've got some drones to see. Here's some drones. See them? There's a drone back there. And we got all of our explorers. This is the start of a new round. So I'll just, I've already shuffled the initiative deck. We've done the event roll. Pius has two inspiration points, thanks to that really good event roll. And the first one in initiative is Amelin again. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't rolled initiative dice or destiny dice yet. I knew there was a step that I was forgetting. Okay, destiny dice coming up. Ignoring the duplicates. So sixes are no good in this case. Uh, two, three, four. We've got three, two, three, four destiny dice. That's great. Amelin could probably use that because, of course, she has two serious wounds, uh, grievous wounds right now, and that's no good. All right, so this will be for Amelin, and then I'll roll for Pius. I don't know why I'm doing it in this order. It's just those are the two character cards I saw first. Oh, that was for Amelin. This is for Pius. Six and four for Pius. Three and three for Amelin. And then we'll do three for Taddeus the Purifier. Six. Again, one, two, six. Gosh, I love those sixes for him, but um, I also don't know how to get him to use it wisely. Five, six, six, one for Janus. Wow, that's kind of amazing. Okay, so that's some good rolling, really. Amelin's up first, as we, as we know. So she's got a three and a three. She's way over here. Her closest targets are over here. So she could... Um, I don't think it actually benefits her to move closer. So one, two, one, two, three, four hexes away. She could use her rifle. She doesn't have any any really good die, but she could spend one to aim, so she could ignore cover, and she could spend one to attack. And then, of course, she does have destiny die. And if anyone needs destiny die, I mean, it's her. And I guess Pius at this point, because they're the two with a mere two slots. So I might... Yeah, I think I'm going to use up at least one destiny die. So what does that mean? Her... Her special power is her long rifle with a four up. And there is a four up here that she could, that she does have access to. So I, I think I'm just going to steal a destiny die for her right now and just have her roll the four up, ro roll her attack with that four up die for her long rifle. She's four or more squares away, or hexes away. One, two, three, four. Yes, she is. So she gets to use her really good d12. There we go. And it's a miss. It is just a miss. That's too bad. Um, is there anything she can do about that? Yes. In fact, because she's rolling with a four plus, she has a ranger scope on her on her rifle, she's rolling with a 4 up. A failed result for that weapon can be re-rolled. So let's re-roll. 2, that's a, or not 2, a critical, critical uh, hit there. So she takes out one of these drones. Simple as that. Cool. Okay. Uh, that was really good. So... That's one destiny die used up. Now, she's still got her n normal die to spend. And I think what I would like to do is have her aim and then fire. So she aims, so we ignore cover, and now she fires. And gets one hit. Cannot argue with that. That is great. So she gets one hit off on that guy. And then she has to roll a blackstone die to see if she gets inspiration for taking, uh, for, for removing two wound points worth of drones or hostiles. She rolls a five. I think that's what she rolled last time. So she's not inspired. So someone rolled a five last time anyway. Okay, so, okay, good. So that's her turn.
that that wasn't a bad turn. I can't complain about that turn. It's good. Next up is Taddeus the Purifier. He's got that six. He's got a one, two, and a six. So he could he could spend that six on healing himself and someone in his in the same space as him. But he needs to be in their space to get maximum use. So if I assume that he's going to use two die to move, one, two, one, two, he'd be too far away from Pius still. If I stole a destiny die, he'd, he'd move one, two. He'd still be too far from her. I think what I'm getting from this is that it is not useful to have him attempt to move toward Pius for healing purposes. Now he could move one, two, one, two, and then take a shot at the at the thing, but that wouldn't be all that... Ooh, I don't know what I just... Okay. Um, okay, so what I might have him do is move with his one, aim with his two, and then do the repeat fire trick where he gets to attack like two or three times. Two, two times, I think, with, from a distance with his servo stubber. Yep, that's what I'll do. So he moves with his one. One, two. He takes aim, right? Because he can't get past cover. Yeah, so, all right, so he aims with two, and then with this six, he's going to use his servo stubber, which uh, specifically says on a five up, you can roll twice as your attack. Now, he, how far away from this thing is he, though? Because that's going to determine, oh, he's still very far. One, two, three, four. That's just far enough to knock him down a a die. But I could spend a measly two to get him to move more. One, oops, two. And now he's closer, so he's within two, two hexes, which means that he can use his servo stubber with his five plus. He gets two d8 for his attack. And he gets to attack twice. So I'm going to roll 4d8, except I only have two d8s of these special d8s. So I'll roll it twice. And Taddeus is not even on screen, is he? Okay, well, we'll roll anyway. That's one hit. So he scores one wound against the northern drone. And two misses. Oh, he's on screen. He's just way, way back there. See, here he is. That's that's him. That's his target. And he's got one one wound. So both of the drones on the board right now have have a wound, which is a good thing. I could, you know what? I could actually use up another die for him. And I'm thinking of doing that because somebody needs to, once this drone is gone, somebody needs to search up here. There's a discovery token up there. And I've never done a search move in this, in this game yet. And they need to find clues in Archaeotech. So, yeah, I think, and, and three isn't enough to search. You need a four up to search. So I think, but Pius has a four and a six. So, yeah, I think I'm going to spend this three for him to do another attack with his servo stubber. Now, this isn't... He doesn't get to do his two attacks because he's only using a three up. And it takes a five up to do a, uh, you know, a two attacks. But... Oh, and this doesn't ignore cover. But you know what? Let's just hope for a grievous uh, critical hit. And I got a critical hit if you... See this one here? It's a critical hit. So there you go. Um, that removes the drone and the wound token. Wound token. That removes the drone, leaving the, the space open for Pius to, to search. Next up is Janus Drake. And I think he's got a lot of dice to spend. Yes, he does. He, and two sixes, including two sixes. I'm thinking that one of his dice can be spent on moving. One pretty much right up to the, to the 
to the drone. I don't know, I guess he's not allowed to move into a drone space? That doesn't make any sense though, if he can't... So if he goes, if I spend a whole dice for him to move just one... one hex, and then I attack to do a flurry of attacks, and then maybe I attack again to do flurry attacks, and then I I would have to move again to get into this hex to search it because you can't search f you have to be inside that hex that seems really weird it seems like it's really discouraging melee to be honest but i mean i guess that's rules as written so i i think i think i wouldn't i think i don't think i do that normally and i don't think i will do that in real life because that just seems like a heck of a lot of dice just to do a search action, which, yeah, I think that it unintentionally discourages melee. Okay, anyway, I guess instead he'll just use a pistol, even though his his specialty is his uh, is his rapier. But he's two to three hexes away, so he'll use, um, he can actually just use his measly one die for this, and he'll use a d8 for his attack, move this a little bit more into frame, and he misses, so then he'll use his 5. I wonder if flurry of attack, maybe I'm misreading what fl flurry of attack. When taking a flurry of attacks weapon action, Janus Drake can attack twice for a cost of 4 up, or 3 times for a 6 up. Okay, well, it doesn't say it has to be a sword. So, I think I'm just kind of superimposing the rules of uh, Flurry of Blows from D&D &D and Pathfinder on this game. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll spend this five not on just an attack. I will spend it on a Flurry of Attacks, which allows him to use 2d8... Oh, but it has to be a it has to be a six up for three. Okay, so I won't use the five. I'll use the six for flurry of attacks. So he gets to attack three times. Oh no, because he does. Ha he has to be one hex away. But in order to be one hex away, I would have to spend yet another dice and then yet another dice to get into the square to search, which does not seem. That doesn't seem right to me. Okay, so I guess I'll just do the boring thing then. I, I, I can't believe that that's intentional. That just seems not optimal. But anyway, here's, here's another shot with his pistol, and it's another miss. So then he'll just, I guess he'll just, I mean at this point, yeah, this has been a waste. I don't know why I just did that. Um... And that's his third miss, so that was a really bad turn. Um, not happy with that at all, really. Like, the obvious correct choice is to move next to the thing and do a flurry of attacks. But that eats up an entire dice, because then, in order to search the, the token, he would have to spend another dice just to move one more square. And I don't see why that would be intentional, unless, I guess, the flavor of it could be that because you're moving into sort of an, an endangered area where you're hyper-vulnerable because you're within melee range, you have to do it a little bit more carefully. But I, I don't, yeah, I don't like how that played out. But that's how I played it, and I don't think I would do that in real life, but I'm trying to be as much rules as written as possible here. Okay, so uh, Combat Group 1 is up. So because Combat Group 1 has, and that's this one down here, because Combat Group 1 has lost a member of its, of its, uh, of its retinue, it's necessary to roll for reinforcements. So this is the Blackstone die here. It's a six, so no reinforcements show up. That's good. Now I roll a Blackstone die again 
to see what action this uh, this hostile takes. I just rolled a 20, and that's the alert action, no matter what. Alert is not great, because that means that the threat level is now 1, instead of 0. So it's 1 now. Um, 1. Okay, so that means that the attack of the drones gets stepped up. Does it mean anything else? Let's look. Alert. Alert. Keep track of the current threat level by placing three level counters. Yeah. Uh, it drops back to zero at the end of combat. Okay, so it's just the alert. The, there's actually no attack taken, apparently, on this turn. So that's actually fine. That's great. I mean, for now. Um, okay, two. Oh, dear. All right, so that's this one up. Oh, wait. Two is not there. Well, I mean, it, it. the counter is still there. So I think, I believe, the intent is that I then roll a blackstone die again. And uh, I guess maybe I'll move this here. No, that doesn't work. There's no place to move a dice roller. It's too big. So I'll roll a blackstone die for reinforcements. And it's an 18. So there are no reinforcements to arrive. So that's really great. I really, I'm feeling uncomfortable with how lucky I'm getting. And this is, of course, pious. Because I just feel like the tide has to shift at some point. Okay, Pius has two die. They're good die. It's a four and a six. And so she's going to spend one of those die to go one, two into this discovery token square. And then she's going to spend her six to search for... to... to to, yeah, search. That's the action. It's called the search action. And when you take the search search action, you um, draw a card from the discovery deck. This is the discovery deck. So I'll just take the top card of the deck, and it looks like I get, have a or Pius has a secret has secret coordinates. This card can be used as a clue card. Oh, and this also, interestingly, is Esper and Locarno's secret agenda, I guess. But I'm not playing with Escarn es Esperno Espern Locarno. Um, so I, I don't think that probably makes a difference. But that's cool. So that's great. I mean that's as I've said, that's why these explorers are actually here. Like they're <laughs> they're here and then I, I remove this token. So what's not 100% clear to me, to be honest, is whether when I remove the triangle, the, the, like the token itself, does that remove the group? Like, is, is, is this group no longer in my initiative deck? I'm not really sure. The, the, rules, the rules don't say that. I'm just, I'm just curious because now that there is no token, when I roll for reinforcements, where do those reinforcements respawn? Like, to me, it felt like that token marked where the reinforcements respond. So I'm not too sure about that. I don't, I don't know what the intent there is. But again, rules as written, it doesn't say that when that discovery marker is gone to remove the card from the deck, so I'm assuming the card is still in the initiative deck. Rolling a Blackstone die for an event. That's a 20. Let's look at the event table. 20. Lucky find. The leader picks an explorer. That explorer draws a discovery card. That's crazy. That's the second, that's like literally the second discovery card in this game after going through an entire combat completely forgetting that discovery <laughs> is a priority. Like, I completely forgot about that for an entire combat, and now we're getting two combat cards in, in one game. Okay, so cool. Here's the, com uh, the uh, discovery deck. Top card is Archaeotech, and it is worth one. So that's... Uh, I'll give that to Janus. I'll just say that Janus Drake 
drew that. I don't think it actually matters, but he's healthy. <laughs> so I I figure, yeah, let's ha let's have him get that card just just to be safe. Okay. Yeah, so I need just I just need to sort of shuffle this initiative deck again, and that's really this turn. So thank you for watching, and we'll take it up again next time.